Welcome to YouTube Excel Magic Trick number 132. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Tricks 120 to 132. Hey, in trick 132, we want to see how to apply borders for an accounting template. Hey, I've highlighted a range from A7 all the way to H20. And we want to start off with borders everywhere, but some of the accounting template will have double lines this way, and some of them will have a double lines this way. So we want to see how to uh, apply borders using the Format Cells dialog box. Control-1, Control-1 is the keyboard shortcut for um, Format Cells dialog box, and now we'll look at borders. This is 2007. This is different than 2003 and earlier. They orientated it more logically because the order of how you apply lines, color, and then drawing your lines is from left to right here in the 2007 version. In earlier versions, they had this stuff on this side, and people got confused because they went here and then tried to change the lines by going over here. So they organized it left to right like uh, reading in some languages. Now, let's click, and this is how you do it. You click on the line, and then you choose a color. We're going to keep it black. And then you can use this area. There's some predefined stuff, but I like to draw them. You click right there, there. Notice to get the outline, all I have to do is click somewhere near that line. You, don't, you generally don't want to click right in the middle because then it will put a line that way. Now this orientation here is just like outline. And what it does is it only puts a line around the outside. That's it. Let's click OK and see how that worked. Got it. Now let's um, control one and go back here. The next thing to learn about is the um, vertical line, what the vertical line does. So I'm going to click on my line, order matters, line, color, and then clicking and drawing. I'm going to click, if you click right in the middle too close to here, it'll do um, a horizontal line like that. So I don't want to do that. Always somewhere between there or between there. And then that is a horizontal line. In this dialog box, that represents all vertical lines. So now when I click OK, you can see I got all vertical lines. I click over here. Oh, but what about this one? That's because it's not an outside line. Let's go ahead and highlight it. Control 1. So that represents all vertical lines except for this one and this one. Remember, when you do something on the outside, it's only the very outside. Now, uh, let's click this one and click on the horizontal. And that only does the horizontals except for the top and the bottom. Click OK. All right now, if we're building a little accounting template, we could uh, type the word account here. And we need to type the word uh, trial balance here. I probably spelled trail there. I'm such a bad speller. Uh, and then we need to tab, tab, and uh, we need to put adjustments. Now you'd spell this out, but I have a small screen. I'm going to hit tab, tab, and put adjusted T period B. Now, I need a debit and a credit here, so I'm going to put DR, tab, and CR. Now, watch this. Instead of retyping it, you can just highlight the debit and credit and click and drag. And there it is. It, it, when you highlight these two things, you're establishing a pattern. Every other cell needs a debit or a credit. Now, um, we want to merge this right here and then merge these. Now, let's try this first. Instead of doing merge and center, merge and center, as I've showed in some other videos, has lots of problems, um, especially moving the template or um, doing cell references to a merge center or trying to insert columns. The better alternative is center across selection. And you get to that by Control-1, Format Cells, and we'll do Alignment, Center Across Selection, and then click OK. Sure enough, there it goes. And now, don't forget, when you do that, um, if you click here and try to type, it's a blank because even though the thing's centered, it's only in the first cell. Now I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to use my Format Painter. It's either on the Home ribbon or I have it on my Quat or in earlier versions it's on the uh, Format Toolbar. I'm going to click this and then click right there. See the paintbrush? Boop. And then click it again. If you double click it, you can just keep using it. It won't run out. Now let's adjust some of these columns. I'm going to make it maybe, one, once you do that, you point to the 
C and click and drag with your down pointing arrow. And then anytime you adjust one of the columns, they all get fit that width. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to click on this one and then shh to highlight that. Now we need to do a couple more things here. We need to merge and center this. Now there isn't a uh, center across selection for vertical, so we have to use merge and center here. Control 1. And I'm going to click uh, merge and center. And I'm going to do center and center. That's uh, horizontally and up and down. Now um, we can click all these and click the center button, which is either in 2007 on your uh, rib, your um, formatting toolbar or here on the home ribbon under alignment. Uh, one last thing, uh, maybe we need uh, a 1 here and a 2 here. They have these silly little things, and especially if you're in school. And you click and drag that down. Once you've um, established 1 and 2, you've established a pattern, so then you can click and drag. And now I can Control C and then copy it on this side if I want. It looks like yuck. Look what the formatting did. I'm going to say uh, match destination formatting. And then I'm going to apply this right here using the format. All right, so now I have that, that uh, double line there, but not on the outside. Now I'm going to make this real small and uh, highlight this right here. Now let's go look at borders here. Control 1. And you notice there's one there on the top. The, right side and the bottom. So now I'm going to go to borders and do the uh, middle. Oops, but look, I, uh, this was highlighted so I came over here. Oh yeah, you got to go this, then this. And then I want it there, there also. Click OK. Uh, let's see. Uh, the last thing is maybe all of these titles here need um, double lines everywhere. So Control-1. And then I could click the double line. And now we could just use this. Out, that does inside everything, and that does the outside. So that's a little bit about uh, borders and making a little accounting template. See you next trick.